I'm in Spain, they're talking about getting this people I think about us when I spark These places I'm seeing began so dark Who would've knew we'd be so much apart You probably in love while I'm in my heart Yo! <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, the Any Bull And I'm back for another episode of the Lupa Mutuals Podcast You know what I'm saying? Today we got an actual special episode, you know what I'm saying? It's actually going to be the season finale, you know what I mean? Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm pretty sure, um, we here. It's the final one for the season. Um, I got to bring two of my homies back on that came on episodes in the past. Eileen, Tyree, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure y'all remember these guys, you know what I'm saying? Eileen had the, the dinosaur costume in our... In our <laughs> In our Halloween episode, and Re had the sour challenge where he had to do push ups at the end. I don't know if you remember that, bro. Um, I still got some of that candy in there if you want some more, bro. Um, but no, um, like I said, Eileen came on our Halloween episode, which was actually number 12. Um, she came on with my uh, homie Jimmy. You, I think you know Jimmy, bro. You might have met him before, but um, he's like a, a bartender slash DJ. That's my guy. Um, she came on with him and got to meet him for the first time. Did you? You liked his vibe, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I like there. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Um, I got a little funny story for Eileen uh, that I didn't mention in the first round. She actually make... So I'm a bartender, bro. You know, I'm, I make a lot of drinks and shit. Um, Eileen makes the best purple Gatorade shots in, in the world, bro. What is that? So purple... Let, let her okay, tell you. Yeah. So it depends if like, you want it to be like really grapey or not, but I usually do blueberry vodka, and then you do like blue hair... Curacao. Really? I don't know. That's how I, I have to say it. <laughs> I don't know what that's it. Um, and then you do grenadine, but it makes sweet. And then you're supposed to do sour mix, but I do lemonade, but they go down like water. Bro, they like, like So, juice. like, you ever had a green tea shot? Yeah. Like, how it's sweeter? Yeah. So, it's like a mixed no. shot. But no, I'm saying. like sour. But I'm saying they're like sweet compared to like a straight shot. I don't know. Yeah. You gotta break it all the way down because my man don't be like drinking like right. that at all. Um, so he, uh, I'm saying two of mine will get you on your ass. They good, bro. Like, they taste like purple Gatorade. Like no, literally with alcohol. I ain't no All right. It tastes like a, a Gatorade, bro. Just like something that doesn't even taste like alcohol. Just it like, don't taste like alcohol, right bro. fucking down. And it is smooth, bro. There. So, um, she make the best <laughs> Jones I know, bro. I don't know how she do it, but she just told All us a secret for me. All my drinks are good. All right, bro. <laughs> she the type, she the type Jones to give you the, you thought that was a big shot <laughs> Well, let her board them, Jones. You ain't complaining when I get those two. Come on, yo, how did I get blacked out on one <laughs> shot? <laughs> um, no, but she do make the best, Jones. I'll give you that. Um, for Ray, like I said, he came on the Sour Challenge, um, which was episode five, so early on the show, you know what I'm saying? Um, I lost both my challenges. You lost all of them. Yeah, all of them. I did, I lost He was bitching. I don't know if you saw that episode. He was bitching. I sour. I can't do Like, we, we progressively went through, like, sour, so we had, like... Um, Sour lifesavers. We had um, like lighter sour shit. Oh, like then, airheads, like one. Yeah, like like basic sour shit. And then we uh, went towards like war, I don't know if you ever warheads, tried warheads. Yeah. Toxic waste, like way yeah, toxic waste is shit. That like, shit is just nasty. Like, <laughs> um, but then we had pure lemon juice, um, like crazy shit. Like um, were you like trying to like not make a reaction? Out yeah, of yeah. It? We was like first one to not. You make just a made the worst reaction smelling that <laughs> thing. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> but this, it was funny though like it, it, I was saying like that episode was like one of the funniest ones in terms of trying something because it was like like I want to do like a super spicy challenge like the first episode I ever did was yeah. a spicy John but it wasn't like I didn't get anything that was super spicy if that makes sense like the the spiciest thing I think we tried was wasabi which like it's it's spicy but it's not like I want to do like the hot ones type vibe you know what I mean like no like because they're the third one like the third last one is called atomic bomb some guy that I went to a party with was like, try this. And he was like, I like. He out of pocket. <laughs> Why do you tell you to try that but shit like, at the party? I thought I could handle spice. Like, I like spice. He puts a little bit on like a tortilla chip or something. And I was like, okay. A little bit. When like, I tell you, no. TMI, I shit myself. <laughs> I had to leave the party. I was continuously. She was I literally was. I kept, I could not breathe. Like, I could not, like, milk was not helping. I had to leave. My ass was on fire. I was still shitting. <laughs> I'm walking up the stairs, still shitting. Like, it just kept coming out of me. I was just like, bro, imagine if I did the two Boy, worst ones. You like, would have been hurt. I was like, please. But we, I had ordered, um, like, the Pocky ghost pepper chip. Oh, drums, yeah, the one chip but challenge? There, no, it was terrible. I thought it was one chip, but it was the full bag of chips. So it wasn't oh, even the one chip. The, yeah, I have those. I can bring you them. 
Like, all right, all right. they're terrible. really fucking bad. <laughs> like, nasty? I, no, like, oh, literally, like, oh, water, but that's what you can have go for. through a whole 24 pack of water mm-hmm. and, and it's still, still burning. <laughs> like, not shit yourself. So, you resent it, it burning? You resent doing doing no, it? No, I would do it again, all but right. it was just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, but I was trying to get something like that on the first episode, and they, when I, I had uh, DoorDash them joints. But it was like a full bag of chips. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, we was just eating the chips on some normal shit. Them jaws wasn't that spicy. Because but. they're not supposed to be spicy. <laughs> but it say ghost pepper. I'm thinking ghost pepper, you know what I mean? Like, um, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, I actually want to bring up how uh, my man, Reed, just started a little Madden League. That's actually what we were playing before you got here. I was, um, I'm cooking. You cooking? He, he started capping. Cooking. I don't know if you're getting that one seat, bro. I'm, I'm getting one seat. All right, all right. And my brother watching this, I'm coming for you. <laughs> What is Matt, like Madden, Madden the video is, uh, game? Yeah, it's based off the football league. You, know yeah. I mean? you just pick your players where you want. So to you're team. doing like a fantasy draft. It's like yeah. a fantasy draft, but on a game, so you control the players. So how do you like win? You just win games. <laughs> and then you go to the, you go to the <laughs> Super Bowl. That's anything. You go to the, no, it's just more so for fun though. Like oh, it's okay. like bragging rights. Like yo, I'm better than you. Is there Madden. money on it? Because I be cooking Ray, and then like he will like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really. I'm not a big Madden player. He really played Madden. I be playing 2K and like other games. I'll beat and you I'll be in Mario Party. Not wait, say Mario again. Mario Party. Oh, I hate motherfuckers that say Mario. <laughs> what is it? Mario. Mario. Why? Because he goes it's Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I beat you in 2K too, though. You beat me once. But I just do. I really the reason why I brought up the Madden shit. I actually want to bring up how the the computer really was doing me dirty that day, and, and they pe- so he played eight times. All right, so uh, <laughs> there's like a little finesse, right? Where if you lose a game against a computer, you can quit the game and then just restart it. So you restarted eight times. I restarted it eight fucking times. <laughs> the most anybody played in our league, though. All right, chill. Yeah. <laughs> the most anybody played. No, in our league. so the, the reason why I did that, I didn't know they could see it, so I thought I was being slick. I'm like. Listen, I Wait, ain't taking you got else. a notification that he they no, see my, it yeah, my and they put it in the chat. The and mind you, I don't even know everybody in the chat. They they expose me in the chat. I'm like, damn, bro, Man. you don't even know me. Let Reed expose me. Like, <laughs> send that to Reed and then let him expose me. But it is what it is. Now I've been up and coming. You know what I'm saying, can you give me my props? No, I can't. All right, All right. I mean, right. but he, he just, in the AFC. I'm it in the NFC. It only took nine games, though, right? No, no, no. It only. Yeah. We really like nine games in, but I'm like six and three, so it ain't too bad. I'm six and three too. Um, they cheated me though. But yeah, so uh, y'all want to get get into our? Um, actually, let's let's do our shot. Let's do our shot at the beginning of the episode. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Eileen got the Jaeger. I got the tequila. Blur my face out after y'all. If I take, <laughs> take my shot, no, Wait, his we, reaction, like just zoom in. <laughs> all right, just, let's just focus on his. <laughs> no, nah, but. I, I appreciate y'all for coming on there. I hope y'all fuck with see each the, other. See the cups. Um, um you you talking talking about about the cups. Yeah. They ain't had them, John. The they had regular plastic, John. Uh, but no, seriously, though, I appreciate y'all for coming on here, taking time out y'all day to come show your boys some love. And we're going to cheers to that. I'm saying cheers, y'all. Mm. I got to put the mic down for a second. Ooh. Not the chaser. That should hurt, right? <laughs> Please zoom in. He I might that throw shit in my up. Read <laughs> <laughs> about the yak. <laughs> no, nah, but um, all right, y'all ready to get into our first topic for today? Let's go. Are y'all ready? Let's go. <laughs> she not ready, yo. Shelby. That's not Shelby. Yo. <laughs> Got my, my man shop over there. You know I'm saying, um, but yeah, let's let's get into this first topic. So our first topic for today is gonna be uh, Thailand. I talked to him a little bit about it. You know I'm saying, so the reason why I chose Thailand as a topic was me and these two lovely individuals. Right, we are planning a trip to go to Thailand. So this is Eileen's first time meeting Tyree. But we already had started planning a trip to Thailand, as in, like, I told a couple of my work friends, and we were already trying to plan a trip together with, like, the cruise I'm and all I'm the only that. one down at work, so don't play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be bullshitting. Um, we talked about doing a haunted house, John. We talked about game night. We bro, talked about start with the haunted cruise. House. <laughs> like, no, I was ready. No. Bro. She, she sent it in the chat. She, she came up with the idea, so First it's all, not I her. I plan everything, she okay, at work. Now. She a good plan. And sometimes at the end, they just all bail. And it's just like... Who's... Not me, though. I was there. It would have just been weird. We were all about to go to the haunted house. Like, bro, I'm not going to... Me. 
It was more so on some like I feel like on some last minute at that shit at that time. But it was just like a, a it was supposed to be a work thing. Like we oh. were all supposed to go, and I think it was like a Friday night, like right, yeah, like a dark night. Like we wasn't even working. And they did, Pat, if you know Pat, yeah. he goes, "It's my birthday, so I don't really want to go." Well, you knew it was your news? birthday. <laughs> like, what what the you these news to be like fucking set already. <laughs> right, right. Then he ends up doing nothing, so then right. it doesn't even fucking matter. Right, right, right. At least all stayed in. Damn, Pat. <laughs> 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 no, but um, but yeah, so we ended up like I was like, yo, let's do a trip. She was serious about it, you know how we are with our trips, because he came to uh, Costa Rica with me. They got me um, sauce. Did you come to Puerto Rico too? No. Nah. Oh, you ain't going to Puerto Rico with us. My man be really... I, he really so. I was just like, did you go with him to Puerto Rico too? No, nah, it was just uh, Costa Rica. But that was like majority of our group's first time out the country. So it was like a real big learning experience. But that shit was lit. Our that crib was, was nice. Lit. That joint was lit. It was a lot of wild except nights. For, except for Mugga, um crying about uh, marijuana. <laughs> he was Who? he was feeding I mean, our one homie. He was feeding over. Bull so. pulled it out his sock. <laughs> he, gave him, talk, he gave him a neck. That like this big. <laughs> Mug was mad. We he paid like thirty colonias, colonias for that. Jeans, How man. much is that worth? <laughs> no, it was. It, he paid like basically like the price of like a regular eighth, like thirty, thirty five for like that. They gave us nicks though. They, yeah. gave, they gave us like three different nicks, and they were like dookie. dookie. Yeah, <laughs> dookie. <laughs> it looked like, straight like dookie. They came like. out like a ripped up plastic bag, like in yeah. in the jaw. Shout out to Mug. I'm like though. that he shit was low key crack, bro. Like my man <laughs> smoking crack with that jaw. Shout out no, to Mug. But, um, and he smoked it. He smoked it to the face. And I definitely chipped in on that yeah, job, but um, smoke that joins at the face. <laughs> but no, nah, um, that's that's my guy though, Mug. Then he had the the bonnet on playing Beanie Siegel in Costa Rica at six in the morning. Like, come on, cleaning bro. up, he cleaning he up. His shit. My man got OCD badly. Um, but so yeah. it might taste and look like shit, but he was on his shit. Like he <laughs> was really doing it. No, he was locked in. I give him that. Like he took care of the crib. But I'm like, bro, we on vacation, bro. First off, we had people that cleaned up too. So, like on top of that, like let's clean up at the end when we're leaving the the, the Airbnb. Like, we'll but, wake up six o'clock every morning. Right, knocking that joint back, washing but. dishes, cleaning off the cabinets, all that. Like he just was. But yeah, so it's just like um, then obviously Reed was coming to Thailand because we were planning another out the country trip or whatever. So I think I felt like this was the perfect opportunity for you guys to meet each other and have like a nice little icebreaker in terms of the loop of mutuals as well as our trip. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it works out perfect. So um, my first question to y'all is, what are y'all looking forward to the most? Like when we when we pop out over there, like what's y'all what's y'all number one thing? Mine's gonna be the experience. The sightseeing, just being over there and yeah. shit, like different doing that food. Vibe. I want no. I really want to try some different food because I try the same Bro, stuff every listen. time we go. No chicken He's fingers a picky and fries. Eater. You know how I am. He's a picky eater. No chicken fingers and fries. I he ain't doesn't eat a that. burger, just a burger. No cheese, no bun, just a burger. He's a child. Yeah. That's I always felt bad when I was eating the hollow food. Fucking <laughs> y'all were both like, I was like, does this smell like again? Hollow. <laughs> That shit not holla. That Hello. shit holla. Yeah. She took my holla. She took my holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Eileen, what you looking forward to? I really want to ride the elephants, but they you heard say that's don't. like immoral. Yeah, yeah, they say don't do that. But or like the thing I, I gotta get a flick on that elephant though. My yeah. Instagram is Thailand like Express, and I know you're tired of me sending you videos, but like they got this floating market, like you're mm-hmm. on a boat. That's almost tough. No, I, I feel like once we start figuring out, like, once we get the flight booked, once we get the crib situated or whatever, and, like, the whole what we're doing, then the activities will be the funnest part. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we pick what we want to do, and then we'll be in a big enough group to where, like, if a few people don't want to do it, they can go to the markets or, you know what I mean, do some other shit. If they You're don't want to get with the lady boy? Huh? <laughs> not the lady boy. <laughs> Since I'm the lady boy. Who's that? We, we listen. This is, this is a little mutuals. We love everybody. I mean, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, no, but you it's gonna you be a. Saw you never saw Hangover. It's based in Thailand. Hangover mm-hmm. too. No, nah, I don't really remember that. All right. Oh my God. Long story short, there were people that. All right, we can't talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but it, it was a funny experience. Um, I'll explain later. Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that afterwards. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, I, for me personally, I'm just looking forward to um, this is gonna be like the first time where. I've flown more than like six hours. That's number one. That shit's like, hurt. It's gonna hurt, but I feel like us being on a different type of airline and flying with a different type of in a different type of plane and all that shit, like it might be a little bit better. It's just gonna be like a 
a camaraderie thing, I guess. Like, all of us all being on a plane together, like, having, like, three rows, just cracking the fuck up. Like, it's going to be a long flight, but... I feel I like that's... stay in my seat in school. So, 22 right. hours on right. a plane. But they're going to be giving you dinner and shit, watching movies and shit. It's still going to be ass. Not <laughs> <best class. laughs> right, 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 right. No, but it's still going to be a vibe. Um, and then I said, like, just, like, the boat trips, activities and shit, like, that, that we do that requires, like, seeing, like, the island and... I mean, I'm into that type of shit. I'm more of, like, a jungle boy when it comes to, like, trips and shit like that. Like, that's why I really don't be finding, like, going to Europe and shit like that appealing. Like, if you want to see sightseeing, like, no, seeing Europe the fucking... Europe is great, like... It's cool, but, like, I'm trying to be on a fucking zip line. I'm trying... I'm trying to be bungee jumping. I'm trying to do crazy shit I like that. I do want to do that. You saw the swing? Like, you, like, all the way up. It's, like, not bungee jumping. But it's, like, the whole... Oh, mountain. yeah. Big-ass oh. drone, right? See? Like, That's, I won't do oh, bungee jumping because I see too many videos of this time. Like, I've been skydiving three times. How was that? I Not. loved it. If I go one more time, I get to go by myself. I'm not ready for that yet. They, they going by yourself, is right? Crazy. Like, it's like, all right, now nah, this John, this John don't function correctly for right. this time, and and I don't know the process of you know figuring that out. But it is what it is. Is there any like certain parts of the um of the city that y'all want to visit? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm really gonna that's use that as a catch. That water slide at yeah. that sent you. No, bro, that's where I, we were trying to go, but they, we, we ended up doing, you was here that day. We ended up, uh, the, remember we had like the little get together to start planning and shit? Um, it was during the Eagles game. Um, when and, they got cooked by my right, team. Yeah, don't bring that up. <laughs> don't bring that up, bro. <laughs> but um, we were talking about like comparing uh, Phuket, which is fuck it in this case, and uh, Pattaya City, which is like Pattaya City is more like the vibe. And from what we've seen, it was like, it made more sense to go there. That's so, why I feel like two weeks is not enough. It's not even two weeks. She's trying to go a whole month. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's trying to move there. Like. Right. <laughs> they say it's only $300 a month to live there. That's like all expenses. And like, that's like. Yeah, but if you over there, there, there working and shit, how you making bread? You making bread that's according to that. I'm going to go with the You lady. ain't making bread that you I'm make over here. I'm a lady boy. <laughs> all right. Yeah, not the lady <laughs> um, See, me personally, I just really want to be tapped in with the culture, but at the same time, be out doing shit like, like. The last trip we we did when we went to uh, DR, me, Shaf, and a couple, and uh, Anna and a bunch of other people, we um it was more on some like relaxing, chilling shit. You know what I mean? Like we literally stayed on a resort the whole time. Um, all inclusive, John just was chilling, bro. We was at the pool. I didn't even go to the beach in DR, bro. I hate the beach. So um, it it was a vibe though. Um, it was just like more so like yo, we was only there for like three or four days too. So it was like yo, let's just relax, enjoy our time here. Take take advantage of this resort, you know what I'm saying, and um, what we paid for. So, but this next trip, I'm trying to be out and about. Probably like only like maybe one day where we do we some chilling shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, cause even in Costa Rica, we were there like every other day. Cause we had a nice crib, so we had a pool, everything. So we were like, all right, this day is gonna be a chill day. We'll just go out to eat later on or something like that. But for the day, we stayed at the pool, was just doing shit. But um. Thailand, I'm trying to be out and about because I doubt, unless this joint changes my life, I doubt I'll be back to Thailand. That's 22 hours, bro. Like, I would yeah, rather not, I mean, be somewhere yeah. else um, and, and, and experience a new place for the first time. Um, Y'all get some more stamps on your passport. Yeah, we're right. That's the whole vibe, bro. Like, travel is one of my, I say this shit all the time on the show, bro. Travel is one of my biggest things that I want to do. I got like, four. You know what I mean? Huh? I got four since stamps? I got my, yeah. What you got? I got Jamaica. Costa Rica, Aruba, got some else. You got DR, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I only got Damn, Costa got Rica one year. and DR. Yeah, see? Shout out to my mans, though. Come on, he got me come my on. Passport. Shout out to my mans, man. My man. He got me my passport. Him and Lee. You know what I mean? They late, remember she drove to, to Chicago. She went to Chicago. Hours, like, yeah, together. you got the like same day passport. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. that's what they made me go to um, Niagara Falls. Jeez. Where's that at? Like up by New- Canada. Oh shit! Like right there, like right in New York. Like mm-hmm. you drove or you took a plane? I drove. <laughs> After I worked a twelve-hour shift, it was an eight-hour drive. I was like falling asleep behind the wheel. Yeah, you. Was My mom hurt. had to go to Puerto Rico. Yeah, my mom did too. 
like for her passport. Like that's yeah. crazy to take a flight. But I was just like, whatever, fuck it. Like you know, fuck it. All right, come on. It all leads back to fuck it. But it's worth it. I have lots of stamps in my passport. When I feel like when you first got to use your your passport, it was like a vibe. I was hype as shit. I was in Italy. I'm in the embassy. Like yeah, I got my passport here. No, but the only thing about the passport, they be fucking me up with. Was when they stamp it. Like, why would you stamp it on 27? I just no, got my right, passport. Right, right, right. Like, because if I brought one, my two, passport. Three, I'm right. trying to go in order. Of like, I got two stamps on like 17. Wow. <laughs> or like one is barely noticeable. And yeah. it's like, I'm like, you ain't going to re that. Let me see some more hey, ink on that, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to remember this shit. Like, you stamp it at hard as shit. How is there no ink on that? Like, they, don't, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Man, just, All right, let me ask you this next question. All right. What have y'all heard about Thailand from either news, social media, whatever? Like, how do you perceive it? Um, I saw a hangover. I, I had that on there. <laughs> that's how I view... That's basically it. Like, that's how I view Bangkok. Like, the... I know the ending, they were at the... Um, I don't know where they were, but they were on, like, an island type of joint. So, I'm assuming Phuket or one of them other places. But in terms of Bangkok, that's how I view Bangkok. Like, on some, like... like it's it's going to be hot as shit. Like, like high intensity I'm levels. I'm ready to like, get shot. <laughs> all right. A all right. monkey. All right. I, I do want to see a monkey, boys. though. Get shot? Yeah. I don't know why she want to get shot. No, because it's only $30, he said, to feel himself. That's cheap. Remember in the movie? Oh, uh, see, I don't remember that. He was like, how is it only $30? Yo, I'm... This is completely <laughs> off topic. I'm just happy Eileen made it here today. Yo. She she done went through a lot these last couple of days. <laughs> she All right. she, <laughs> Yo, Shav, I didn't tell you, bro. She Listen, we applying to everybody. Shav. <laughs> She came out today and all her wheels were stolen. All the car. Bro, from yesterday. <laughs> they came back. Bro, they double backed. Yeah. They, t- they even took her spare, bro. <laughs> the back. All right, y'all. So, for you guys, Eileen, <laughs> she lives close to me, so we don't live in the best of areas. Um, she had a break in and they took a lot of stuff. Well, first off, day one, they did. They be, stole they the there. shit underneath my hood, okay? Like engine. You know you gotta put the locks on the hood. Did you have just the regular clips? Oh shit! They broke the locks. Yeah. So So they broke that. They broke the back window. They cut up all my seatbelts. I just noticed that. Like all the seatbelts are cut. Female did that. Why they cut your seatbelt? A female. A female did that. And they they the the center console in a Jeep Wrangler you can lock. They pop that lock. Like that shit's wide open. that. That was a war. No, I don't know. You going at it with somebody? Yeah, no. Well, they put sugar in my car before, so I'm too worried about that. Like, but then I I call AAA. They never come. Twelve hours go by. I'm like, bro, why are they still not here? You call AAA. They put you on hold forever. I was on hold for two hours. Then they call me at four in the morning. Do you still need a tow? Motherfucker! And then the tow tow truck comes and he goes. But let them be towing you on some illegal shit. So I can't even tow it. And I'm like, why? Like, he said, there's no tires. (laughs) What? That's and it's right now on a cooler, a luggage, a Lysol can, and... Yo, can I get that bag? <laughs> Let me get that luggage bag. <laughs> <laughs> I need something for Thailand. <laughs> no, that's, that's just... I'm, I'm happy you made it. Like, yesterday when you had called me and told me about that shit, I'm like, we was getting... That's we were supposed job. to shoot this job yesterday, and I'm that's like... Bad job. I'm like, I can't even be mad. Like, she's like, you're gonna be mad? Like, no, I can't be mad on that, because that would have hurt my whole week. Um, but... Let her borrow a tire. She said that, said but I'm like, what is one tire going to do for you? He has five spares. Like, he's not using No, them. you need a, a rim, too. No, I'm just going to take all yours. All right. All right. Now I got to move my car. I'm going to park in the county. They gave me a truck. I'll just put it in the back. Like, all right. You got anything, Ray, in terms of like what you've seen on social media and shit? Have you seen uh, anything? No, I ain't really seen that. Uh, you know me. I just looked up like the, the okay, pop, shit. Yeah. popping spots and all that. Okay. They Little. do got a strip like Vegas, though. Yeah, that's... Pattaya got one of them, bro. It's going to look like Miami, apparently. And like, they just got a bunch of girls just outside just waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ab, Ab, you know Ab. He, uh, he, he said his uh, one neighbor just moved there. So they, like, were saying, like, they visited a few places, like, for a month. And they said Pattaya City was the, the spot to go. Because they got a beach, too. I Pattaya. hope it's not like how the Costa Rica club was. It's not going to end well. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> That's like the... All right. Have bad. you ever flown this far? No. Yeah. Uh, not 22 hours, but I did 14. I Where did you seven. Go? Italy. And then I guess... How was that? that? The flight? It was bad. 
You was going no, through. on the way there, I don't know why. Always on the way to somewhere, you get the full row. You get it all to yourself. Yeah. On the way back, you're sharing the row with somebody everybody. Else, somebody was on my you're lap. sitting on people's laps. Like, <laughs> I'm squished in the middle. I don't understand. It's because when you fly to Philly, it's always depressing. Every time I fly right. back to Philly, it'd be raining. It'd be like cold as shit. Angry Going outside. there, like, I've always had a full row. So my flight there was cake. Mm. Coming back, it was bad. And I sat next to these two old people arguing the whole time about the movie because her started five minutes before his. And they couldn't figure out how to match their movie. Like, it was like a That's whole thing. Damn. So you were going through it. The food kids. was good, though. You were doing seven hours? Yeah, seven. Where? To uh, Cali. Okay. Cali? Yeah. What's Cali? Cali. California. He from, he, from, uh, he from the Bay. I was like, Cali? Yeah, I was like, from the Cali? Bay. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right, Where though. you go in Cali? I went to uh, Los LA? Angeles. Yeah. I stayed right uh, around the corner from the Lakers Stadium. Did you go to the game? No, that was when COVID hit. Uh, see, I always wanted to go to L.A. because It was uh, so boring. All we, did was, all we did was get high. Like, all, <laughs> we woke up. <laughs> Just woke up, smoked. Like, um, see... That's you gotta go experience that shit because we, me, Shaf, a couple of our other friends, we went to um, Vegas. Our one uh, friend is stationed there that has actually come on a Thailand trip. Jalen, you know Jalen. Yeah. Um, he uh, he lives in Arizona, so he uh, no, I think he lives in Texas now. But he was living in Vegas at the time, and um, we went to his house and stayed there. But then each day we went to a different state. So we went to Utah. We was riding like bikes in the snow. Like, it was cold as shit out there, but we were riding bikes. Crazy. That shit was a vibe, though. Like, we got to see some crazy shit. Then the next day, we went to Arizona. Got the, uh, We were supposed to ride ATVs, but we ended up, like, shooting all these crazy-ass guns. Like, I shot a 50 cal, MP5, like, Call of Duty shit. Like, I was shooting some crazy shit, but that shit was a vibe. You hit your target? It's like, can you translate on, you in that girl? girl <laughs> it's going dirt boy. Like, come on, yeah. Um, but um, then we went to uh, Cali one of the days. I don't know... It, I think it was like Venice Beach or something like that. Or oh, yeah. Venetian Beach or something like that. Venice. It was one of the beaches. That's John GTA. They got, they had one of the skate parks at, on the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that shit was, I'm telling you, at one point in my time, at one point in my life, I need to live in, in Cali. Like, I need to live there for like a year or two. Because I'm telling you, when I came over there, what little baby say? He said, California breeze. Like, I felt that California breeze. Like, I was oh, just walking down the street. The, the fucking breeze is just hitting me. I'm just happy. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel like Philly where bull asking me for a yank at the light. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They like, take your time no, yours. get away from me. <laughs> Smack his hands. Like, no. no, but it's like, um, in Cali, that shit was just a vibe. Like, and there was a bunch of homeless people on the beach. Yeah. But they was even happy. Like, what the fuck? Like, we was walking down the beach and bull like, yo, like, hey, I'm like, what the fuck are you so happy for? <laughs> you living in a tent, bro. But that shit was a vibe, though. Um, are y'all looking flying with um, Emirates? Have y'all ever flown Emirates? No. You ever flown Emirates? No. But apparently, it's like a triple-decker plane. So yeah, it's, a, it's a big-ass plane. No. I feel like that's going to be a vibe, though. But, like, I was, telling, I was telling him, like, when you were in the room, mm -hmm. basically, I was saying, like, if you wait three months, because I travel a lot, if you wait three months before any trip, your flight's cheap. The reason it's so expensive right now is because you're People booking for the you're paying for the guarantee, like for the flight. So you're basically like, oh, mm -hmm. I, I'm guaranteed this spot. That's now. like how you are with the fucking tickets, and like um, sports games. Oh, Giants, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, nobody buys Giants tickets, <laughs> like, but no, I, it's like if you. Wait then, like but the day before. We're, we're a big group, so it's like yeah, it's some harder people not gonna be able group. to get tickets. Yeah, at that point, so it's like I would rather be safe than sorry. That's up to y'all if y'all want to wait. <laughs> but I got but um, out the we're way. all gonna be on different flights. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I'm I'm, com I'm coming tomorrow, yo. <laughs> like, um, no, nah, but I'm just looking forward to because it's gonna be my first time flying with like a different airline. Even when we went to Costa Rica, I forget who we flew it. Was it American Frontier? No, nah, we flew something cheap. It was definitely like Frontier spirit. or Spirit, bro. He tried crazy on the camera. He said, <laughs> he tried he crazy. Come on, bro. We no, nah, I booked my flight different. Oh, yeah. No, nah, you was there, though. Oh, I was. The shop was, was late as <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, but no, it definitely was Frontier. I think was. this is going to be Frontier. our first time flying like a better airline, too. So, like, that alone is going to be like, come on. I'm usually. The worst plane I ever flown was yeah. EasyJet. That was the what worst. That was that? 
it's like easy jet just sound like some shit it you was shouldn't be a flying with. europe like plane like so it was from me to get to paris to ibiza and literally when i tell you it was like basically crates you're sitting on crates it was oh frontier makes that shit look, look like high end. It, it's Emirates <laughs> to this place like i couldn't sweet. even put my seat back i couldn't do nothing That's they didn't even have is. a fucking no i could sleep on spirit <laughs> spirit seats hard as hell no, they were worse. It was like a fucking picnic table bench. Like, yeah, no, that shit sounds. Shit was only thirty dollars. So I had to shut up. That's why. You had, had to You had to fly the plane. Y'all didn't have no damn, no flight attendants on that job. <laughs> I was uh, like, can I get a sprite? <laughs> it's like, no. We only on this job for an hour. Um, what do y'all want to get out of Bangkok? So, for the viewers, we plan on touching down in Bangkok, landing there, and which is the capital, I think, of Thailand. Um, spending a couple, like a day or two there where um, we'll do some shopping, maybe go out a, a night or two, staying there and then going, catching a ferry or some, I don't, I don't know the whole process, but catching a ferry and going to Pattaya City slash beach. Um, what do y'all want to get out of the Bangkok wait, wait, portion? Before you say that, Ab, you better know what you're talking about. Right. We, <laughs> about to have us we get out there and we stuck. <laughs> I hope that ferry is a real thing because we're going to be salty as shit, but um, I'm, I'm also going to research that shit myself, but um, in terms of the Bangkok part of the trip, what y'all want to get out of that? A Mike Tyson tattoo. All right, you <laughs> She tried to get the face tag. <laughs> Mine's just going to be the experience. Like, I, I feel like with the Bangkok shit, you're going to be more tapped in with the culture. Like, because they're going to have, like, the markets, you know what I mean, downtown and shit like that. You got to make me try new food, though. Like, nothing... That Nasty. grilled cheese I sent you, the microwave set. Everybody's been saying, I saw 100 videos on the 7 Eleven grilled cheese they got. Hmm. Looks popping. Not the 7 Eleven. Or, or no cheese, cheese though. though. I ain't going to eat no cheese, but like, some. Oh my different. guys, and now he's picking. No, some he's different. He's picking though. already. Yeah, like, we're not even there. saying, and it's probably going to have cheese in it. And you're going to be like, Word. oh, this is fucking good. <laughs> 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 Start looking at his fingers and shit. Like. But no. yeah, I do want to try new food, though. That's my, that's my goal, is to try new food. Okay. I'm I'm happy that you want to do that, bro. I I broke out of my shell a little bit, like before I was probably even pickier than you, bro. But now, like, I'd be like, bro, one, you're not gonna be able to try that food ever again, like right. authentic, like Thai food. Like you're not gonna be able to try happened. that shit. No, you're not gonna be able to try you that shit. Still eat chick chickies and no, peas I'm still picky. On a regular, bro. I, I mean, I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> like, and peas. What do you mean? There's all that food there. No, right? I'm not trying different American food. I ain't say all that. I'm saying I ain't trying. I'll try some shit over there because that's gonna be the experience. Like, yeah, then if you Shelby's like some shit job. over there, you might come back over here and you hey. practice at Shelby's job, and then you get like right there. His name is not Shelby. It's Shelby. Yeah, it is. It's Shelby. <laughs> no, Shelby but, uh, in the group chat. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just feel like you'll be able, you'll be in the hub, so you get to try like a bunch of street food, food, you know, maybe to have like a couple spots with some music playing, some little vibes. I think we go out the day we land. I think it's gonna be my brother's birthday. Um, shout out Joe, man. Shout out Joe, man. Um, cool. Have a couple of drinks for him. You know what I'm saying you'll get to meet him for the first time. But actually, you'll meet him before that because we're gonna be scheduling a little uh, happy hour get together between everybody in the group. But um, he's the same as Justin. It's just older, though. Yeah, just older. Um, Pass. Damn. That's <laughs> fucked up. All right. What do y'all want to get out the Pattaya City part of the trip? I don't even know what that is. All right. It's going to be more the island type of vibe. What do y'all want out of that? I want to get lit. I want to go with the turtles. All right. So, you try me. It sounds like you want to be on some activity shit. You just which said is it was I an mean. island. I'm trying that's to be what, No, Moana. that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be like doing that same type of time. He's saying like he's just trying to turn up and have a good time. Yeah. Which is fine. Both is fine. We can, boot, we can do both pigs? at the same time. You know how there's pigs in the water? Do they have those? Pigs in the water? You ain't never see that? No. no. You can go swimming no. with pigs? No. Why the fuck is there pigs in the water? <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't know pigs in that. I'll show no. you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's capping, yeah. I'm not capping. <laughs> all right, all in all, how y'all think this trip about to go? Horrible. Why do you say horrible? I feel like everybody's going to bail last minute. I do, I, no, not, I our know, yeah. not our group. No, no, no. I think everybody's going to go. Really? Everybody that's in our group are serious people. I'm, I'm telling you. Like, they... So, my... All right, Ree. Ree came on the Costa Rica trip. So, just based off of that, I feel like he I was I had to get my that's passport. Had, you know I mean? He had a bunch of shit that he had yeah, to do. all types. And he still there. went? And he yeah. still went. So, that's number one. I need friends. Shaf, Shaf going to be there. Shaf be at every, every trip. Like, 
You know I, mean? I think Ab really gonna go. Ab, Ab would ne- Ab's never came on no. Only time I went on a trip with Ab was when I when we drove it's to Atlanta. Nice with US Xfinity people, like they basically are like fuck that. No, no, Xfinity people is chalk, but that's why there's no <laughs> any Xfinity <laughs> people on the John. Bro, they be really capping, bro. Joe, Joe gonna go. Joe, Shaf, me, you, Ab, Eileen, Bianca. I don't know if Bianca's, Bianca's gonna go. Bianca's not about to go. She's not. Damn. Yeah, she capping. <laughs> she capping. Oh damn. Um, Anna, my girlfriend, she might go. Um, I think she's gonna go because it's so far from now that she could request off. Um, who else? Your who friend. Else? Yeah, no, it's Taylor. She definitely gonna go. Taylor. Taylor. Go. Um, who else? There's a couple other people that I think will genuinely go. But regardless, even like having like six to eight people, that's fine. Like that's a decent group. Like. Um, oh, Jalen and them. Jalen and Akira. They definitely Hurts? going. No, not no, Jalen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he worried about next season. <laughs> uh, but uh, my man Jalen, he he's came on every trip. Even when we went to the Poconos and shit, he's flown in to go to the Poconos. So like he's serious Jaylen. about that shit. Um, shout out Jalen uh, and and Akira, um, his girlfriend. But I think we have a a solid group to where. Everybody that's on the list right now will go. If anything, we'll have more. But everybody that's on there right now, I think it's going to go. Like a good seven, eight people. Um, but in terms of that, I think the trip, I think that shit going to be a vibe. Like, I think, because, like, the way our Costa Rica trip went, like, that shit was so smooth. Like, we had a couple of hiccups with, like, they didn't have uh, GPS. Well, they had GPS, but they don't have addresses in Costa Rica. So, besides that... In like the service and shit like that. Then Joe got our uh, rental keyed and shit. Yeah, and, and like <laughs> in like the car situation, the car situation was. Them Jones was nutty. Like we had some shitty ass cars, but Going besides the, that, the, are the we ramps. getting a car? No, I don't think we should. Well, I mean, we can, but it's up to y'all. Like I personally don't be giving a fuck. My only thing with the car so is like you gotta fart, worry about parking. That was the thing. Huh? You trying to walk? <laughs> so we trying to go somewhere? Uber. They don't got Uber. They have Uber. No, but they, they have don't. scooters you can rent, too. I'm about a scooter. Dumb Jones. We gonna be on the edge of the scooter. I'm ah, leaving ah, everybody. Like down there, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> like a chaser. Um, no, but that shit gonna be a vibe, I feel like. But regardless, like, that's some shit we can figure out, like, once we get closer to it. Because that's simple to figure out. But in terms of, like, right now, I feel like us getting the crib, the, fl- the flight, and all that type of shit knocked out first. Because we still got time, bro. It's fucking... We're not going to fucking Thailand until August, bro. Like, um, we got a vlog down there. Damn, we got a vlog. I just vlog peed. is crazy. Sorry about that, guys. We had a little technical difficulty. Um, but actually, let's just segue into our next topic. So our trip to Thailand will take place all the way in August. So we have a decent amount of time in between. We get the plan, save, and just get ready for our future endeavors. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the future, let's get into our next topic for today. Which is actually going to be the future. So we're going to be talking about some tech shit. Some aliens. Offset. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Where did she get offset from? Isn't he with future? No. Uh, I don't know. is a whole separate person. <laughs> Shit's about offset. Like, fuck you, ad lib. Um, how do y'all think we as a society are heading? <laughs> to the ground. Down. Down? They still tired. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> they still in my whole will. Like... I thought we was going to have flying cars. I did, too. They said that shit was supposed to be out in 2020. Bro, for real? How did we go to the moon? And we still ain't there yet. She dicky. She saw my last, <laughs> she saw my last episode. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said that shit in the joint. I was like, how the fuck? We ain't been back to the moon since 1969 or some shit. 1970. I don't think it was real. I don't like, think it was I real think either. They, like just like had a green screen type thing mm-hmm. and like they set, set it that up. shit up. Because, because mind you, that's during the Cold War. But I don't know if like the ro- Mars history, rover so. is there. Like I don't know. I don't know my history. So all right, so you know what the Cold War is? <laughs> I don't know my. Right. That's the one with zombies. No, <laughs> zombies Wait, right there. <laughs> Cold War is when we was fighting each other, right? That's no. all the wars. So it was. I think after I'm dumb as shit. After like World War Two was like in the 40s or 50s or some shit. I'm I'm not the most history bull either, but what I do know is the Cold War was like a bluff. It was like it was like yo we we say we about to attack them, they say they about to attack us. It was like us and Russia. So it didn't happen. It never. It was never actual any war, but it was just like a bunch of bluff, like social media shit. Like you know what I mean. So what's going on oh, right recent. now? No, it wasn't recent. But I'm saying like it was like all. 
picture like I'm sub to you on Twitter. Like us just. So what's going on Twitter. right now with us and whoever they talking about bombing? Gaza. Yeah. Or um Israel. Wherever. Whoever, yeah. Who, is. Whoever. Whoever. Izzy. Uh, this, is, this is out of pocket. <laughs> we should know this shit, but um, but regardless, like it was a bunch of bluff shit. But there was like a a, a goal of getting to the moon for whatever reason to like say they, that that country was the first country to get there. Like they had the the highest tech technology. They had at that in Men in Black. And, um, so it's like it was like a rush to space basically. And but what's the point though? Because then they can say, like, yo, my got question the craziest, is, you know, like, they have those people true. who have, like, water that's floating and they pretend they're in the space. Is that not going to the moon? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, like, the, the astronauts, like, they'd be videotaping that they're in space for, like, a year. Like, they get be. See, they might be in space, but they might not be on the moon. That's a whole different thing. What's the difference? Just, like, get what out. was on the moon that we gotta get there. Being on the moon is like. <laughs> like, being in space is like art. That's like you saying you in Thailand, but you in the air. Like you're not in in, in Thailand. But what's on the moon that we gotta get there? It's the, just the, the, the uh, what I'm saying is just it's I'm like yo they got bud over there. No, but uh, <laughs> um, it's it's just more so saying yo we did that. You know what I mean? We're the first country to do that. So I think in during that time period it was cat because I don't understand how we would have that much technology at the time, let alone why we haven't been back since. Right. You know what I mean? So like. During the last episode, we, it was like a conspiracy that the, the moon landing was fake. And we were talking about that shit. But I'm just like, even like now, like why? If y'all know the way the way the earth is dying, like how, how shit is happening, why wouldn't y'all be exploring this shit? Because at a certain point in time, if the earth don't, is unsustainable and we can't live on this drone, why the fuck? Where, where else are we going to go? Like, and I'm not here saying it's going to be us. It might be our kids' kids type shit. But it's like, damn, that's fucked up. No it's wonder like, they're stealing tires. They know the world's right. Like, they worry about <laughs> <laughs> shit about to get dark. You think they they gonna take your whole wheel next time? <laughs> well, they're like taking back all the Teslas. See, like that's taking a step back. Like all the self driving cars are being recalled. See, that shit's scary. My shit. Then you so you got things like climate change. I know y'all see the fucking glaciers melting and shit like that. Like that it's shit's just hot. I'm 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 real in tune with the earth and shit, man. Like shout out to me, yo. put a little lab coat on me in this gym. But um, <laughs> so basically, with the glaciers melting, it's increasing the uh, water levels, making the water level, and that's causing like floods and shit like that. That's why Venice is underwater. You know what I'm saying so. They, like they say places if, that was not year, underwater, whole underwater, the whole the whole country. Mm-hmm. So places like what? that were above water or that were places before is underwater or about to be underwater. They're having like, you know, all the natural disasters that keep happening, shit, earthquakes, fucking tornadoes and all that shit. So that with climate change, overpopulation, it's causing like food shortages and shit. We got way too many people. Like, bro, I really think in the future they're going to do some purge shit, bro. Like, where they, bro, why do you think, this shit sound crazy. Another conspiracy was, COVID was a fucking population control, bro. No, 100%. They they released COVID, apparently. Some people think. But what makes I'm not saying I think that, but. Definitely was. They think they released that so that it would knock off a certain amount of population, which was, if you think about it, who did it affect the most? The old people. Old people and super young, young people. Yeah. So, if you're trying to kill off old people because, this is going to sound fucked up, but old people don't have as much. Um, Time to live. Time to live and like they're not serving anything to society because they're old. They were reti- probably half of them are re- retired. You know what I mean? So it's like he about to get banned. They gonna right. shut. <laughs> they gonna go shut. watch this joint and be like, they, the, gov- I hate you. the government gonna shut this joint right <laughs> to the <laughs> But it's like, yo, so th- 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 a lot of people viewed it as population control. I don't know. I, I genuinely, I don't know. So it could have been an actual with the virus. I'm not sure. But um, with be. that, they were also paying people to get pregnant. For, like, babies. Like, there wasn't enough. I don't know. So, it's just, like, I get what you're saying, but there's also that yeah, side the other, where other they side. were paying. See, people. like, these are all theories, like, at the end of the day. So, it's like, none of these drones are factual. The government just fucked up. They just and do whatever the fuck they They got to do what's best for the human race altogether. Like, it might sound fucked up because, in this case, they screwing the old people over. But if you got to do what's best for the majority, that's what you got to do. So... Like I said, with food shortages and shit like that, bro, like, apparently with, like, the uh, natural resources and shit, so, like, coal, oil, and all that shit, we're going to be out by, like, 2040. 
So in like 20 years, not even, we'd be out of oil and shit, bro. You know, every that shit run everything. Like, that means you're going to have to rely on like solar power shit, which is like based off the sun, but yeah. we solar power isn't proven at this point. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know, bro. How is solar power not proven? No, I'm saying it's not going to be enough energy to be able to... Oh, I was you know really I mean? like, I know that turns on a lot of things. No, but I'm saying, uh, solar. there's not solar power ran factories and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, yes, there is. Not you, full factories. I'm saying, like, full Jones. Like, yeah, like, if you go to the fields, like, by Hershey Park, acres. But I'm saying, it's not going to be able to sustain the whole country. It might. We don't know. But I'm saying, if, if that was a thing, why wouldn't it be a thing right now? You know what I mean? Because the government wants money. Okay. See, she got a nice theory, they too. Coming, they coming after them. <laughs> I, don't the government, I don't know nothing about nothing. Um, so what I will say, we talk about all the negatives, right? But in terms of some positives, there's an increase in technology, um, new ideas to, like, prolong living and shit like that, productivity. Um, like what? So, like, technology, right? They're finding ways to make shit more efficient, and which you can view this as good or bad, but, like, for instance, like factories and shit. Back in the day, it would be 100 workers working in that joint. Now it could be like 20 people working in like a certain factory because they got oh, yeah, new right. machines, new yeah, then there's conveyor jobs. belts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the bad part because then people lose jobs, which I'm going to get to it in the future. I mean, on uh, later on because I actually got that on there. But um, that it becomes like a whole ethical thing at that point. But um, yeah, just it's like a bunch of new ideas and shit that like, People are coming up with to try to combat these issues, but at the same time, it's like, are those gonna work? You know what I mean? We don't know. Shit, sad for. Real. Wait, you seen them AIs at the Charger Stadium? What no. working in the stadium? No, they were sitting in the Charger Stadium, like Just on watching the, TV? the game. Yeah. But were they, they had, in real life? Yeah, they was at they was at the game. What the fuck? You like see that? AI uh, is... Look it up. It's, we're gonna look it up, it's and like, we're gonna have a clip pop up like robots. There. There's robots just sitting at the Chargers game. I seen, um, so, like, how the media will fuck shit up, bro. I seen, um, they had, like, a Monday night game, bro. you probably seen it. They had, like, a Monday night football game, and it's the crowd, it was, like, the Bears or some corny-ass team playing, and they didn't want it to come off as if the game wasn't fully sold out because if you're watching it as a viewer, it's like, damn, this shit look ass. I, mean, right. I don't want to watch it no more. So they had, like, on, like, commercial breaks and shit, when the camera's going around, they blur the spots where people aren't at. Some crazy yeah. shit. Like, they did that with, with us too. It wasn't but like they, that, right? No, and with that situation with um the heaven in Miami, with that big ass robot, they said all them cops was down oh, there. Oh yeah, the, the uh, alien, right? They yeah, thought they talking alien. about they talking about it was a fight or something like that. No, that shit was an alien. They said I have no idea what the fuck. There was like a story in Miami, like there probably like two so weeks ago. So many cops out there. There was like a like a alien there. For Somebody real? saw an alien. Yeah, it was like a seven foot. But, that was an AI. If everybody saw it. I don't know. I wasn't <laughs> in Miami. <laughs> but it was a thing. Like, it was trending on Twitter and everything. Like, it was crazy. They said that it was a bunch of kids fighting and all that. So, oh, uh, they tried to cover it up. Yeah. Shit. Um, how do y'all think it would be 50 years from now? Less people out of jobs. Because they definitely come with robots and all mm -hmm. that. So in 2074. Sure. Am, yeah, Amazon is about to take over. It's not... No, nobody Amazon gonna, just laid off all those workers. Yeah, it's about to watch. But I'm saying that he's probably meaning it like there's no jobs. It's going to be all and technology. Amazon's yeah. going to be running everything. So then how would you make money? That's that's That leads me into what I think will happen. I think in the future, it'll be only two classes of wealth. So you got upper class... Lower. Middle class right now and lower class. There's, There's going to be upper. no middle class. Yeah. It's going to be super... I forget what movie it was. Divergent. It might be like Divergent. One of them crazy movies where it was only super rich people. Like Hunger Games type Hunger of thing. Games, yeah. yeah. Um, but Divergent is like they have like the things so like your richer class, you're working, like mm -hmm. you make things and like mm -hmm. stuff like that. See, I think it'll just be super rich people that own companies and, you know, big things. And, um, and then just poor. Everybody else poor. Damn, not me lower class. But it's going to be me. I'm going to be in the poorer class. Like, fuck, yo. Just, get, just getting by. Class. <laughs> we started. It's just getting by class. <laughs> We're already there. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, it's just, 
that shit is some some like that's really sad to think about. Like, imagine we really get on some shit like that, and then like in fifty years, like you know the fashion trends, like even like I really think Hunger Games is gonna be on some real shit, like. It's cool. My son's gonna take. They gonna go to the NFL. So. <laughs> really does. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make sure they go to the NFL. They gonna have like purple hair and like a crazy ass cut. Like no, <laughs> that's how you gonna know you had money. The right purple now. hair was not a look for I me. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter gonna be a rapper or something. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna be Cardi B. Yep. Um. So, be honest. Are y'all ex? ex- this is more on some personal shit. Are y'all scared? Or excited for the future in terms of your own life? Like, how do you think it's about to go? I'm probably going to die by 27. Oh, my right. God. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo <laughs> I feel like that. Um, <laughs> uh, what do we say after that? <laughs> Why do you feel that way? It's just real sad on when the good die on. All right. That's a good song. I like that song. I don't know. I think mine's going to be good and bad, though. Yeah, because I think my kids going, like they gonna live up to what I think. They what going. you think they going? Yeah, but then me myself is I gotta get myself together. Yeah, but that's fine. But we I gotta get time. myself together for them to for me. Yeah, to, that's why I say good and bad. Yeah, yeah. See, for me, I would say like I'm scared because I'm I know how great I'm trying to be. This this sound like some I feel like fucking George Washington Wallow. or some shit. All right, no, I know how great I want to be. But it's like scary, as in like if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna be what so you do? yeah, like you're disappointed. Yeah, disappointment, like off the level because I kn- I know that should happen. You know what I mean? Like I put the work in, I do shit like that, and I like you know what I mean. Um, but there's always that chance that that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I'm excited because, like I said, I same way. Like if I work hard, I I make connections with people, I meet new people, and and I'm like I'm pretty smart, you know what I mean. So it's like I know that if I can piece everything together, then I could be successful. And like success ain't even like deter- damn this shit got deep. I'm like, <laughs> like, um, but success not even determined like as in like I want to be rich. And all that, yeah. yeah, like I would just be want to be well off, like have a nice family. Is well off not money? Well off is part of money, but I don't need to be billion dollar rich. Like I can I can be he can well off for like five hundred. You could have a dollar. You know what I mean, <laughs> dollar is not, I ain't trying to live like that. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, who's to say success isn't? Because my level of success might be different than yours and Reese. You know what I mean. So it's like, as long as I'm well off, I got a family that that fucks with me, and I'm close. We got close friends that fuck with me, and and I'm doing shit that I want to do. That's successful in my opinion. But if if I'm richer than that, damn. I heard that shit. Um, we can just keep. Um, but yeah, it's just that shit is drawing. Um, but anything else y'all gotta say about that? Yeah, I'm gonna figure this shit out. We can keep these for sure. In the future, I think Justin's gonna fix his camera. Um, no, nah, but so let me just segue into oh. our next. You, you wanna say that? No, I, yeah, I think I. My fear is that I'm gonna be too hard on my kids. They say you are your parents. Like I'm just. I hope like, not though. My dad I'm, was like crazy. my sons. Like oh, I want you to play football. I want you to play basketball. But then what if they want to? Yeah, they want to do something else. Or my daughter. I want you to live like this. I want you to do that. And she wanted to do that. You're like, still gonna play the clarinet. You're right. Uh, <laughs> some I want like some. <laughs> now he be like, I'm a celloist. But that's that's not. <laughs> I don't. I don't want them to do that. Like, I just want them to live up to what I was supposed to do. Yeah. But know. then if they don't do that, then I'm gonna feel like. I failed them because that's something that I want. I see what you're saying, but at the same time, it's just gotta be like awesome. You gotta let them do what they want to right. do. And the more you push people, I feel like if you push that's somebody going, away, it's gonna yeah. them not be close to you. Obviously, I'm sure you know more than me. I'm not a parent, but you would rather them be close to you, regardless if they're not doing what. You want right. To no, do for it. sure. So it's like you kind of gotta find that happy medium. Like, yo, I want to push you, but at the same time, I can't push you over the edge. Um, so I got a nice little segue. Life is exciting because later down the line, when you gain years of experience from being on Earth, you gain wisdom, obviously. With that comes a ton, ton of knowledge on things. It's like when we first got our, our our own crib or whatever, paid for your first trip or even had kids. Um, speaking of children, I have to give it give it to women, you know, because they always, I always wonder, like, 
Definitely. How it would feel to have a have a child, like, cause I'm I'm not good with pain. Um, Tape of watermelon to you. <laughs> like, no, not even that. Like, just the whole pain is when I get like, when I get sick. Like that shit is the end of the world for me. You just gotta but, be dramatic. Like, no, I'm saying guys are dramatic. So like, I can imagine what it would feel like to have cramps. You know, have a kid, anything like that, and that actually leads me into our challenge for today, which is. I can't tell you. We'll be right back in a couple minutes. Yeah. All right, y'all. We back. I grabbed the stuff. Yeah, man. So for this particular episode, we're actually we're gonna call it the pregnancy simulator, but it's just gonna be like mainly cramps and uh, contractions. You know what I'm saying you're gonna feel. Um, so we got this little device that we plug these little cords into, and then put these little um, sticky pads onto wherever we want to try it at, and then um, we'll be able to shock them. Well, it's kind of like a shock. I don't know if you ever did this drone before. Um, it's like a little shocker. Um, you can change the settings on there, different levels and shit. Um, but yeah, that's really it. We're going to try to simulate a real pregnancy. Um, not pregnancy. Yeah. We're not fucking <laughs> bitch pregnant, Justin. Why not? Why not? <laughs> uh, but, um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, who want to go first? Okay, I guess. You. No, I'll go. Oh, all right. All right. Let's that's do it. That's gangsta. All right. I'm not Let me put my mic down. Shit, though. That is not gangster. Your face oh, that, 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 uh, what's it called? What's that salt called? What? The smelling, the smelling salt? salts? Yeah. <laughs> that joint crazy. They see How am I supposed to put this on? So, you want to take, we can just do, should we do two? Yeah, let's do two. I'm never going to use these drones again, so. Dang. Yeah, you are. When you get a bitch pregnant, you're going to say All right, so you're going to plug these joints in, right? Yeah. I don't think you should plug it in until they're on me yet. No, you can plug it in right now. Okay. The other ones that I used, so I tried this Yes. Hold on, let me grab my mic. Which is not fair. How you get to test drive it? <laughs> so, I, well, no, it's going to be weird <laughs> if I use your joint. <laughs> um... But I, I tried them yes, I tried them yesterday, and um, like I had one before from the past from like just I was trying like you know my body be sore and shit, so I'd be trying like trying new things, and I tried it, and that shit like it felt good, but it wasn't like a like I never used it again. But then obviously with this challenge, I never tried it. Where we're gonna be trying it. Me and you are gonna be trying it. You definitely found this shit when you were moving. You were like, oh, I no, forgot. No, no. I <laughs> you wanna see the receipt? I got the receipt in my pocket. <laughs> this is a brand new John. Like, yeah, look at his sticky. This show is sticky as shit. All right, here you go. And then we're to. So now, if you wanna do the. You put it wherever you want, but. Yeah, I don't know where to put it. Like, I'm literally wearing a fucking. What's the highest <laughs> you go to? Hey, go to 10. All right, you ready? No, I didn't put it on. How am I supposed to put it on? Don't plug it in. Let me if you want. After. Yeah, yeah, here. Take it. I'll plug it first. I'm scared I'm going to doubt myself putting it on. All right. I'll be right side. All right. Here you go. If y'all want to join my man Lee. All know. right. So, Eileen's going to be right back. She's going to go put it on her. Um, you put it on your, like, what's that spot called? That sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to put on her labia, uh, and she's going to come back, and then we're going to try it out. But I tried it on my um, traps yesterday. I tried it on, like, my spine, like, on the muscles alongside your spine. And, bro, like, I'm telling you, it's going to feel like somebody's, like, messing with your back. Like, you won't, like, be naturally, like, like you know what I mean? So you're not you going to try it down here? I ain't do it down there, though. That's going to, I think, feel weird as hell, bro. Because, like, one, that's... I never Girls got too much going on with this. That's why you got to give them props, yo. Let's give them a round of applause, you yeah, man. Um, some some girls, not all girls. <laughs> some of y'all just be acting like y'all slow in the head. <laughs> but, no, nah, it's just, like, I feel like it'll be a nice little... With So, the, if you read the box, it says muscle st- stimulator. So, you technically, would you, you wouldn't use it for that. You would use it for... You know your your sore muscle or whatever. Um, like I was thinking, like if if your feet ever hurt or your calf, like mm-hmm. put that joint on your calf, bro. It'll probably loosen that shit right up. But in terms of what we're doing on this challenge, I don't know if it feels good. It'll feel weird, and we're not gonna go to we're not gonna be able to go to ten with on there. 
on that spot. Yes, on your labyrinth or whatever the fuck she called. That's it. best to see who go up the highest. Highest, right? Let's see who can go to. High. That's gonna be our challenge. Whoever, whoever can't, whoever goes the lowest or the, whoever goes the highest, they win. The other two got to take a shot. Deal. Yeah. No, no, yeah, Eileen, out of me and you, oh, yeah. <laughs> cause she's she's gonna win this job. Well, she should win it, cause she's done dealt with this shit her whole life. Eileen said, "Put your your finger on your belly button." You know, you gotta put it in it. <laughs> Not in the belly button. It's like sucky. All right, which move should we do, bro? I don't know. What's... I think we should do. So we're right here. Let's just do that, John. So they got acupuncture, they got cupping, they got like the scraping, John. Let's just try this, John. All right. Three, two, one. It's on. This is level one. You don't, don't feel, feel nothing. Like, <laughs> you don't feel like. Level two. What? All right, I'm going to go up to five. It's five. You feel it, though? Six. No. Oh. Do you feel something, though? Yeah, but it's okay. not like... It doesn't hurt or nothing. All right, we're going to 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. All right, all right, hold on. <laughs> all right, how about this, Joe? That's crazy. I this, feel... This is level six. On um, what? It feels different than the level five. Yeah. What was this one? This is like knocking. Knocking? Yeah. Like he tried... The baby trying to come out type shit. <laughs> Go to 10. <laughs> <laughs> trying to kill her. <laughs> All right, this eight. It just feels like whatever. She like what? That's cool. This nine. Ten. Maybe you gotta let it sit for a little bit. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Let's see. I don't think she feels it. All right. She she's probably gonna win this jump, bro. Then because <laughs> I definitely yeah. felt all of this shit. Hold on, let me do the acupuncture, John. <laughs> I doubt it would feel like that for pregnancy, but let's see. All right. This is level seven. Oh, I don't like that one. Eight. It feels like like a pinch. Yeah. I don't like that. Change it. Yeah, it's fine. It but right. I'm not really a big fan of that one. <laughs> she, I know she's feeling it. This level 10. All right. She won this job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Ray, you ready to go? <laughs> like she done went through di three different modes. Eileen didn't feel that joint at all. At all. Cause so. girls don't feel it. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm gonna feel this. You should have gave me. I'm like winning this challenge. <laughs> all right, I'm winning this challenge. He said it about this time. <laughs> he said it about the sour challenge. Whoever lose gotta do 20 push-ups. I'm. I was in Orlando doing push-ups. I'm right, winning this right. time. We'll do the. We'll do push-ups instead of um, the job. Instead of the shot. Yo, she, she really went crazy. <laughs> no, but um, I don't know if you're gonna go like that, cause the way I felt I'm that winning. shit yesterday, I'm winning. Let's see if you can win. So we're gonna do three different joints, right? The same three, three different joints, same three modes. Um, so let's or uh, let's do the average of uh, three. So say if I get like I went up to eight, then seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. then six. All right, the all average right. of those right, three numbers. That. We can do that. These are still sticky, right? Yeah. Maybe she ain't having it in the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> she did that. She had that joint on her kneecap. Like that shit did not hurt. <laughs> like, that shit did not hurt. How did it feel? <laughs> no, he got put it underneath your belly, bro. Underneath your belly button. Like on your pelvis, right? Your pelvis. I don't know what the body parts are. Yo, you don't got your mic. They can't hear you. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> How did it feel? Like nothing. Just weird, right? No, it was like nothing. You didn't feel nothing? You should get me like a fake dick or something. So then I can simulate. <laughs> I can like simulate. You're trying to be like a girl. I want to be like a guy or something. Like, like this. <laughs> what is the thing for the Goonies? Right here? It's, yeah, yeah, right yeah. there. You want her? Is it on? All right. Oh, he just you ready, ready? the camera. <laughs> Which one? Oh, no, you good. So right here. Yep, you good. I'm going to put it in the same spot. He's so scared. <laughs> All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Three, 
<laughs> Let me control it now. Oh, but you got to do this. We got to do the same three modes. Okay. So when you press M, it's going to change wait, the no, mode. No, wait, hold, wait. What's going to feel like though? Like what's? It's <laughs> going to be a shock. You're going to oh. feel. It. Why it's is there like a you. kicking one? See, I don't know what that one is. Um, so warm. just do. We're going to do the punching drone, mm-hmm. acupuncture, and then um, this drone with the beat right here. Well, how so do you go do two it? Two is is the one you're on. So each one has two different drones. Just do two for each one. Mm-hmm. Why does drone warm? So you or, see, uh, am that's I scared? where you are right now. Okay. Then you turn it up with the plus. And okay. then the levels on the top. You got to hit it twice. Go, go, go light. Go light. That's one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it already? Oh, yeah. Very good. This cramps? Yeah, this cramps, bro. <laughs> this don't feel like a heartbeat. I didn't feel nothing. Because you were used well, that, to that, pain. What the hell? That's, that's five. three. That's three? <laughs> <laughs> that's four. My hand. <laughs> That's the baby, bro. That's the baby. <laughs> you gotta get your camera. <laughs> Yo. Do you feel this one? Yeah. This is seven. Seven. Go to ten. Go ah, to ten. Ah, <laughs> ah. How do I stop it? Just go hit mode all the way down. Oh. Yeah, you're supposed to let it run for a couple seconds. No. She trying to work on your team. <laughs> all right, that's ten. No, I didn't even put it on. There's oh. nothing on this one. That wasn't one. 10? Oh, you were just 10. It was 10 for 10. a second. Yeah. So you got to go back to 10, and you got to no. do it for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no, feel this one. This is the one I didn't like. This is the acupuncture. Acupuncture. Yo, the acupuncture drug is going to hurt. All right. You got to do whichever level for five hold. seconds, though, for it to count as the How point. How much do you think this is? That's one. Why are you acting like that? That's one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right. That's two. <laughs> Damn, that was two. Yeah, this is All two. Right, go to five. Go to five. <laughs> All right, five cool. He How is five, five cool? cool and one was it? Like <laughs> no, that was a different drone. No, this is different. Go to ten. Go to ten. Yo, that drone crazy. You ain't get ten, man. <laughs> you ain't get ten. I thought you were gonna win this. No. <laughs> Yo. What's the last one? The so last one is um, I did this the heartbeat one. drill right here. That's how I really feel. It's what that's how I really feel. I don't know. She don't got no kids, bro. Is that how cramps feel though? No. Oh. Damn. Uh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> I don't really get cramps though, so like. Okay. So your body different. <laughs> it's the, how was you sitting through this? All right. Are you shaking like Yo, that? This John hurts. What the? F- <laughs> they can't even see it. <laughs> Just look at his stomach. Yo. Why are you jolting like that? All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yo, no, I'm done. You know? <laughs> okay. Ah, bro. What the fuck? Oh right. my god, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put it on down too. Why are you all My bitching? stomach is hurting <laughs> bad as shit. <laughs> oh my right, god, it was no way you were sitting through that. <laughs> that didn't hurt at all? <laughs> no. no, bro, I think that shit was really on 10, bro. Like, oh my god. I get to do yours, Justin. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I get to do yours. Right, Yo, my stomach is hurting bad, like... That's crazy. Yeah. Like, when I got my hand tattooed, right? Nothing. The guy next to me had a whole bunch of tattoos, was crying. I felt like, I felt like a bad bitch. I was like. You gotta get your neck tatted. Like, back here, I was about to cry. (laughs) That shit was hurting. Bro, I was really about to cry. Oh, when you got the tat? Yeah, my neck tat. Bro, oh my, my stomach still it? hurt like bad. All right. Oh shit. <laughs> you put it on yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get it. All right. So this the mode you did right here. So you see the one in the corner? Mm-hmm. You hit mode, it'll go to two, then it'll go each drone got two different modes. So you're gonna go to two over here. And then to turn it up, you hit the plus. The level's gonna be on the side. You hit this drone twice to go at one level. All right. Yeah. All right, y'all. Wish me luck. Do you feel that's it? 
I feel a little knocking. It's, it don't hurt though. What you mean hurt? No, sit back. Yo, no. Put the no. finger in the belly button. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that really worked though. <laughs> No, it, it did. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, yo, you drunk? You didn't. No, no, no. Wait, what's that? What's that? That was on eight. All right, keep going, You're not keep even going. Time. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, I'm about to get burned. No, all right, all right, no, 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 turn it off, turn it off. Okay. <laughs> that was ten. That was ten. All right, you go. All right, all right you, go you don't gotta turn it down. Just hit the mode, bro. A mode. All right. No, all right. No, you. I went there though. I went to ten though. <laughs> For like two seconds. This, all right, hit two on that. How you go? Mode again. There you go. And now turn it up. All right. This acupuncture, y'all. Oof. That shit just feel weird. That joint feel crazy. That's four. Five. Yeah. Y'all bitching, bro. <laughs> Blowing me. I'm holding it, though. Oh, <laughs> you was only on seven. You was only on seven. You was, you was only on seven. You was only on seven. You ain't even go to ten. All right, I no, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go to ten, go to ten, go to ten. I ain't no bitch. I went to ten at every draw. Oh shit! All right, all right, all right. No, no, that's not ten. That's not that's ten. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. No, that shit was. I felt it in my butt. Yeah. You ain't go to ten on that one. You ain't go to ten on that one. All right, no, go to ten. Go to ten. All right, for a second, though. I can do it for a second. Which one's that? I know, bitch. We doing this for the clout, yeah. You know? Is this the heartbeat? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like oh, that Oh, that's going to start vibrating. I don't like the acupuncture. All right, turn it off, turn it off, one. turn it off. I got the 10, though. Ah. Fraud right, what was the heart. second one? That shit about to make me shit while so that, yeah. that was the second. The last one's the heartbeat. Yeah, the heartbeat doing this, you know. All you know. What was the oh, difference between mode one sweat. and two? I don't even know. The one I, is knocking. I put two on all him. Yeah, I put two on two. I want all of them too. I don't know the difference yet. Like I said, I just got there, you know. Why are you looking at him like that? <laughs> the vibrating. When it starts vibrating, it, it's getting to me. Ah, that shit knocking now. What is that? <laughs> turn it down, turn it down. Right, I'm there, I'm there. That's 10, right? No, that's 10. That, that was 10. Right. That was that's not fucking lying. Lying. No, that bro. wasn't 10. That wasn't 10. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Right. That wasn't even ten. That, that was, was ten. Bro. That was that nine. Was ten. I promise you. All right, bro, nine. we both taking a shot at him, bro. No, that was nine. <laughs> I put one on one. She gonna last the longest. Huh? We gonna sit next to each other. Put one on one. One on one. Come on. I'm winning this time. Ah. Yo, that joint hurt. Your stomach still hurt, don't it? Yeah. I'm not gonna How tell you gonna which one it? I'm choosing. Oh, there we go. Hold up. Oh, you gotta come over here though. Okay. Actually, yeah. All right. Boom. We are gonna get on the big on the big screen. Oh, we good. <laughs> You'll still that, be in there a little bit. All right, Eileen, take care of us. I'm gonna do the acupuncture. That shit, I'm not gonna lie to you, that shit hurt. Because that was the one that hurt the most. All right, why do you want to hurt us though? Because Wait, hold that joint out. Hold that joint on my belly button. <laughs> you trying? How you gonna put a finger in it? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even trying that tactic. I forgot. All right, we good. It probably not gonna hurt as much because it's only it's one. only one, right? You can turn it up. That joint broke. I feel that shit in my head. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Right? No, oh, no, that's no, in the head. That's in the head. That's in the head. That was in the head. It's, it's the in the mic. head. It's the mic. Yo, Yo it's the mic. Turn it down. <laughs> Turn it down. Turn it down. <laughs> that shit is on the mic, bro. Touch this bass part. I think that's why you need it too, because it was supposed to be like in one and out the other. Like, that's why you're getting shocked. Maybe. It's not even on. Listen, let's chalk it before we get electrocuted and check. Like, <laughs> yeah, the that fuck? Was in my hand. Bro, I felt that shit from the mic, bro. Like the metal on the mic, I guess. All right, that I was ain't gonna lie. Fun. Females, y'all got that. <laughs> we give it to y'all, yeah. I ain't yeah, y'all. Y'all some demons. I'm not gonna hold you. I had my head on the wall. Yeah, like, <laughs> shit. Crazy. I was like, damn. damn oh man, sad. that was that was an experience though. Um, Women strong. I'll give it to y'all. If that's what cramps actually feel like, 
I'll I'm rubbing stomachs from now on on all. Like, what you need? <laughs> you want some flour? Imagine, anything. like, the crazy contractions, though. Like, like the Jones that hurt like that. Like, level 10. Like, when you, you about to have off. a baby? Level 10, but you can't turn it off. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that's probably when you about to have a baby. <laughs> right, right. Bro, that shit's out of pocket. Yo. All right. So, for the last portion of the episode, I got one more little surprise for y'all. I still feel it in my in hands. And them. Um, yeah. We'll be right back in a couple seconds. <laughs> So, being that this is the season finale for the first season of the Luke Mutuals, you know what I'm saying? We all got our glasses. We're going to pop a little champagne. How much was that? I don't even know. I had this drink for a minute. <laughs> okay. So, it's cheap. Did you buy it? <laughs> buy me one, yeah? Um, cheap then, champagne doesn't taste the same as expensive. You should have got some apple cider. <laughs> the apple apple cider. cider is crazy. You would have liked the thing I made for the episode I, I was on. I got come there. I'm coming there. No, not the purple Gatorade. Oh. I was talking about, I made, like, this big chug mm. of, like, what was it called? A hottie toddy? Yeah. We that shit was good. Jacket. That shit was actually good. But I don't think he likes, like, it was, like, creamy milk. No, right? it was, like, apple cider. No, that oh. was the rum shot. It was oh. cinnamon toast crunch shot. That, that was John, good. That John said. You like cinnamon toast crunch? Yeah. But, like, the cereal milk. It tastes like the milk. That yeah, but it's At the shot. end. With fireball in it. No. No, Fireball Rum Chata. It's really good. Like, the mix of it, it just tastes like, so, like cinnamon toast crumb. We'll just drink from the grip. All right, chat. Cheers. You would think he's not a bartender. <laughs> oh, I feel like I was working at Green Legion. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be popping them fast as shit almost. Shout out to the Buccaneers, though, for cooking the Eagles. <laughs> Shout out to the Bucks, man. That might be my second like favorite shit. team. It's it's probably nasty, bro. I don't drink champagne. Thanks, bro. Yeah, shout out to the Bucks. All right, buddy. Y'all. Seriously, though, cheers, man. This was a fun experience. Contract, contractions feel good. She ain't about to cheers you. That shit crazy. Congrats to Justin on his 20th episode. Man, we officially 20, bro. You were you were on five, bro. That's crazy. I was on twelve, so he liked you better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. First episode, like I like everybody that came on the show, obviously, but it don't matter the number. It's just more so the people that come. Can we on. ask you a question now? Yeah, ask me you a question. always talk about like how do we like the episode or like do we like the person we yeah. were with? Name a guest you don't want back on the show again. Ooh. There's not one person that I don't want back on the no, show. No, there's somebody like you're no, like, no, I really don't. It, it, so for me. Why with, he capping? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. I, I loved everybody that came on the show. What's an for episode then, like better reasons, like that you were like, oh, I didn't really like how it came out? It'd be more so like the challenges or the topics that we talked about. Maybe they weren't relatable to the people. You know what I mean? Um, but that's more so on my behalf, you know what I mean? I got to pick better topics and shit like that. But in terms of the people coming on, I liked everybody's episode. Um, some were funnier than others, but that's just how people are, you know what I mean? Like, some people are going to be funnier, more of a vibe. Some people talk more. And your top I'm three funniest. Top three funny? I can do that. I can do that. Top or top three... It's funny because they're going to be watching this show and be mad if they didn't get chosen. But <laughs> um, in terms of, like, pure comedy, I, I like the Sour John. I don't think our episode was that funny. Um, bitch, my fucking, <laughs> my fucking dinosaur deflated. Hey. I literally said to Justin, I was like, that was so bad. Like, no, what I, I mean, and I was like, yeah, it's like, was it was ass. hilarious in terms of all three of us. It was like smooth. I do um, you one through three. I, I won't do it in order, but I'll do the three. It's Y'all job was the funny. The way he says it is in order. I like so the first mind. episode. The first episode was funny. Cause I think that was oh, also Lee and, like, yeah. Lee and uh, Tasha. Um, what other Jones? trying to think hold on i gotta pull him up you don't know i don't know so if he's capping if it's not no because i like all of you try to make it seem like i did i liked every episode what the fuck i was in every episode <laughs> the fuck no it's more so like some were more deep topics it's not gonna be funny you know what i mean right. if we talk about some deep shit um because like i liked abs episode but that wasn't a funny episode that was more of some deep shit oh the joint with my brother and uh terrell when we tried all the um that was the first time we had a live audience, like not live, but like I had like three or four people that were watching. And then um, we were trying a bunch of exotic snacks that I never tried before. So like even with this, John, I had a somewhat of a feeling. I never tried it there, down there, but I know what that felt like. 
the sour shit. I ate all the sour candy and shit like that before. Um, that episode, I never tried none of them snacks that was on that, John. And, like, in terms, it was my brother and then one of my, like, childhood friends. So it was, like, it was a smooth episode. But in terms of funny, it was y'all, John, the sour John. Is the sour John not the y'all John? His John. Yeah. Oh, that's what I mean. The sour John, that John, and probably the fear factor John when we ate the bugs. I really what? wanted to do that Still one. Eat bugs? We ate you and, still have uh, grasshoppers. I, I tossed them all. <laughs> <laughs> we ate uh, grasshoppers, crickets, larvae. Like sour cream and onion cricket. That's not mm, like hers. Bro. No, they weren't that bad, but it was just weird. But that was a funny episode too. But in terms of like, I liked every episode for different reasons. Like, some I got to see somebody that I ain't seen in a minute. You know what I mean? Some were more of a vibe. Like y'all, John was we was carving a pumpkin. I don't remember ever carving a pumpkin before that. Like since a young boy day. So I did bag him. That was funny to carve a pumpkin. Yeah. Like, come on, <laughs> come on. Told you that was when Eileen had money. <laughs> okay. uh, the Haitian food episode with Liv and uh, my homegirl Kate. We got to try Haitian food, like authentic Haitian food. That shit What's was good. Haitian? Haiti? No, she's not like, I think she's saying like, what type what of type food? What type of food? Yeah. Oh, we tried like oxtails. <laughs> oh, so I'm like, to... Haiti? The place? Why are you trying to play me? No, um, we had, uh, <laughs> it was this shit called Lalo. It was like the sautéed spinach. It kind of looked mushy. I don't know if you ever tried it, but it's, it was good. Um, oxtails. We tried like, um, I forget the names of them, but it was like some chicken. Bunch of shit. I was hungry that episode too. So, But that joint was funny. Like, all right, let me give you all a little brief for each joint. First episode, tried the spicy shit. That joint was a vibe in terms of like, I felt like all three guests connected. Shaf and my homeboy Nate from work. You know Nate. Um, that was a vibe like in terms of like, we did trivia. We did, um, it was like more more so knowledge about music and sports. That was probably the only episode we did that on. Um, Joe and Terrell John, I think, was one of the funniest Jones. Uh, Reem and uh, Cheeks from the job, they came on and we tried baby food. That John was funny as shit. You ever have vanilla custard baby food? That oh. John's good. No. Like, I, I would eat that. The worst challenge I did, hands down, was when we did the coffee tasting. We just drank 20 different types of like, black coffee. coffee. And we had to try to guess what each John was. There was no way. Like, it was like, it was a good episode, but there was nothing. Pat came on that episode. I'd have lost. um, The Hot Takes episode with um, Morgan and Daisy, shout out to them. That was a clean episode, like, all in all. Like, I felt like we clicked. Um, The challenge for the John was um, Hot Takes, so it was like a debate type of John. Um, Smooth episode. That was, like, the first episode in terms of the quality of the shoots or the shots. Everything went how I wanted to go. Um, Mark and Will, shout out to them. Um, they came on and we tried mochi donuts. I don't know if you ever tried I, them. No. Mochi like, ice cream is good. They're like Japanese donuts. I thought it was mochi. They taste different. They they like munchkins on a ring, but they like, bro. They like the perfect donut, bro. Like, it's like perfect <laughs> consistency. No fat shit. It's like the perfect, <laughs> perfect consistency of a donut, bro. Um, and that was the first time where I was a little sauced in that joint, but it was a smooth. I'm sauced. Uh, all right. Yeah, then my homeboy Tori and Dewan came on. Shout out to them. Um, they came on and we did the bean boozle. So we tried the mystery jelly beans. That was a funny ass challenge. I like that uh, challenge. Um, like I said, the Haitian food episode. Virtus and uh, Dante came on. We did a blindfold drawing. That was a smooth episode. Um, we did it on the whiteboards. That's when I got the whiteboards for the first time and, and got cold and crazy on that joint. Um, Y'all, John was 12 with the Halloween. That was the first holiday shoot. You know what I mean? Um, Ab, that was it? That was it? No, that was the first time we did a Halloween theme. Uh, John, we, 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 that was the first time oh, we dressed John. up. <laughs> so I, like, she wanted me to be dicky. That was my favorite episode. Like, I liked every episode. Like, sorry, no, okay. <laughs> you ain't getting no description. Yeah, sorry, you were just like, it's a Hall- Halloween episode. That shit is Fuck nasty. you, Justin. All right, no, no. So, y'all episode was a big step for me because we got to decorate the set. First time I ever did that. I never even really decorate my house, let alone do it setting up for some shit. Um, like I said, the carving the pumpkin. Even coming up with the questions for that um, topics and shit that we talked about on that, John. Um, it was fun, like coming up with the questions because 
it was like more so like it brought back like a childhood memory type shit. Um, we talked about our scary movies. We talked about what we used to do when we went trick or treating as a young boy, shit like that. Um, so it brought back a lot of memories. And then we were dressed up, so it was a vibe. I ain't never do mystery night. What's that? Do, when you throw eggs at people's house. Mystery night. Mischief. Mystery. Mystery. Crazy. I thought it was mystery night. No. <laughs> um, mystery. Then the next episode was. What's the mystery? Is it Easter eggs? Like you got the show. Right. <laughs> was uh, Ab and Dan from our job. Ab and Dan was that probably. That was sad. That, that was, was like a deep. serious episode. Like it was like we got talking some deep shit. But it was a good drill. And then we did the headphone challenge at the end of that drill, which was funny. Jake, my nephew, and uh, Dan came on for the cinnamon challenge. That was my first time ever doing a cinnamon challenge. Terrible. Um, that was that's a learning really experience. Crazy that shit, that's I, how, like, 2012, like... Yeah, that right. That was a young bull joint. I never did that shit when I was a young bull. I also want to do the... Um, I can't tell them because it might be a... You know what you got to do, future. too? You got to tell somebody that they can't eat two slices of bread under a minute. Impossible. I Two know slices? I can. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, huh? When I'm at Denny's, I'm fucking up that <laughs> Two slices of bread. No, yes. right? no. Okay. Uh, wait, That's no, but the can there be thing. butter? No, there's two slices of bread. So just dry as bread? Yes, under what a type minute. of bread? It could be any bread. bread. It could be any bread. It could be a bagel. I'm gonna do that as a challenge, bread challenge. I'd be like, they're That's not possible. He lied. Um, they're not. No, no, that's just. I promise you. I feel like I could do that, but next joint was the Fear Factor one. Um. Like I said, that was my first time trying bugs and shit. That was a vibe. The Christmas one was next after that, where, similar to your episode, we got to decorate, and I dressed up as Santa in that, John. Um, that was a vibe. Built a gingerbread house, like a first actual joint. I tried it before in the past. It didn't turn out good. I tried it on there. It didn't turn out good. <laughs> but we had an actual kit and shit, but I fucked I it like up. The I like the pre-made I never built it. Huh? I eat it. I yeah, that's what it. I did. I broke the one cookie and then I just started eating yeah, it. Just, fuck it. Um, and then the last shit. episode that I dropped, which 18 and 19 are coming soon, 17, I, we did the cookie challenge where you had it on your forehead. And that and that episode was the first <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm the best. In that episode. <laughs> Give him an I'm Oreo right now. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm the no best. Cookies. I'm no, the I couldn't best. get that, John. But um, in their episode was the first time we did a prank. Me and uh, shout out to Zainab. We did a prank on... Um, the other guest, which is Dan, you might know Dan. I'm not sure. Um, he uh, obviously with people meeting each other for the first time, they um, had to catch a vibe for each other in the beginning of the episode. And she basically came up with the idea of playing a prank, and then we came together. It was like, yo, right, when I first watched it, I told you, you when I came into work, real, right? she, I was just like, she was like, ew, why was she acting like right? That? I was just like. They came yeah, yeah, the the prank was basically. Was like, I mean, for real, I do not drink tequila either, so like I understand that one. Uh-huh. But the way she was saying, I was like, and she "Why would off, she bro. say that?" What like happened? she literally like. Well, so it was a prank. Now that I know, yeah. I kept watching. But in the beginning, I came up to Justin. I said, "I was just like, why does she act like that?" Like <laughs> that was the whole goal. So basically, we had we took shots of uh, Crown for the shots throughout the episode, and um, when we got to that, we already planned it before uh, already. So. When we were taking the shots, she was just gonna be like, "Yo, I don't drink brown." Like, like I told you this already. Like, like act like she's mad. Oh, right. And then she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna just walk off into the bathroom." So she did that, and so me and Dan were sitting on the couch. Though, like, I'm telling you, was like, <laughs> but I was like, you could tell, like, he was like defending her though. Like, some people don't like it. Like, right, 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 right. <laughs> he wasn't even like mad, but like, if like no, that but when was... she went to the bathroom. I was literally like, yo, who the fuck takes shots of vodka? Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yo, I don't know what. I'm like, yo, we just had them shots earlier because we had took shots earlier. Uh-huh. He's like, and, I don't know. And he was like, I don't know, man. I drink whatever. That's what the other boy was saying. And he was like, and, and he even said it. He was like, why she got to be difficult? Like, mm-hmm. and so it was like intense for a second. Then she came back. She was like, did you change it? I'm like, no. Like you said, it was cool. Like. Right. And then he was like, just take the fucking shots. So it was like funny as shit. And he was mad. Like, not mad, but he was like, damn, y'all got me. So we, we pranked him. But that was the first time we did that on that Imagine episode. if I did that to you. I'd be like, what the fuck? Well, like, right, you'd be right. like... You'd be like, yo, what the fuck is she on? Like, <laughs> that's why they stole her tires. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed every episode on the first season. Um, the I'm looking at... They're about to be left out. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, but listen, they know already. They already know what type of time we just on. Just give them um, a shout out. I can't tell them to guess, but eighteen and nineteen, just just look forward to it. Um, they were both funny episodes. Eighteen, we we had a couple issues, but 
we worked through it. 19 was the first episode where I was sauced. <laughs> so that's going to be an eye opener. And but both episodes, Justin's been stone cold sober with me. Yeah. <laughs> But well, we got stuff to do today. It's early. It's like two o'clock. Uh, no, but that's that episode. I was sauced. I ran into technical difficulties. We we pieced it together though, and it worked. But that's really it. Um, and then this is episode twenty. The next season is going to be way not way different. It's going to be a, a a few differences, but it's going to be more so like different ideas, different shit that I came up with. Um, it's the last it's episode out. in this apartment. Yeah, last episode, we going out with a bang. That's why we got the stools. We don't even got the couch anymore. Like, what happened to the couch? Like, you know what I mean? Um, Yeah, you didn't even mention that. They're like... (laughs) They're they're probably like, why the fuck is this... Why is he sitting on stools? He had to sell his car to pay for Eileen's tires. (laughs) (laughs) No, but um, that's why we dressed up. Season finale, we popped popped the champagne. We took some nice shots, but... Um, how do y'all feel about each other now? Y'all ready for Thailand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna get with a lady boy. I told him what it was. No, <laughs> oh, no, no. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, and we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hope y'all enjoyed. It was, it's been fun. Um, thank y'all. Gracias. De nada. Bye. <laughs>